So K2 1000 and the line up here suggests a pretty open race. This uh, was won at World Championship level last year in Poznan by the Germans, uh, Martin Hurstein and Andreas Illy from the Hungarians. And the Hungarians, well, in lane seven, two of the greats, Zoltan Kamara, Akos uh, Vedekai. Kamara, three Olympic gold medals to his credit. Uh, he was the flag bearer in Beijing and three World Championship gold medals, four silvers, five bronzes. His partner, Akos Velikai, a couple of Olympic golds, six World Championship golds. There's no partnership on this regard, of course, at this particular moment, who've done better than that in those big competitions. Next to them, uh, Medvedev and Ryakov. Ryakov, actually a uh, terrific achiever in the stern of that uh, Russian kayak, eight World Championship medals, three silvers and five bronzes. Furthest away, Slovenia, Leban and Cook. Two from the top will be Portugal, Ribeiro and Silva. And Ribeiro was in the winning partnership with Pimenta that won in Poznan. Then the Czech Republic, local crew, that's uh, Pavel Davidek and Lukas Trefil, coached by Martin Doctor. And uh, a full start gives me a chance to introduce a little bit more of the partnerships to you. Lane four, you can just see the Russia's Yachenko and Pogreban, strong crew. And then, well, difficult to see who's going to get the warning for that. Pushing against the boot, very rarely profitable. Actually, it throws the kayak back, so it doesn't really give you any advantage to jump the start. I suppose looking five from the bottom might have been the Australians David Smith and Murray Stewart who you're also going to see in the Australian K4 So uh, As they come back lane four there lane five. Let's talk about the Australians David Smith on the right of your picture sitting behind Murray Stewart David Smith who at the age of 14 was already making an impression comes from uh, surf life-saving and uh, was a silver medalist back in the K2 1000 back in 2009 and an Olympic semi-finalist. Murray Stewart, uh, third in the uh, University 1000 metre competition last season. And they are right in the centre of the uh, echelon. And he also got a silver medal, Murray Stewart, in the uh, K1 500. He was only beaten by the Slovakian uh, Peter Geller. But uh, that's a good partnership for Australia. And by now, the news of Alana Nichols will have spread down the course. I'm sure they know about that now. Nothing like your teammates doing well to just give you a little extra boost, a little extra kick. So Slovenia furthest away. Then Portugal, Ribeiro and Silva. Then Davidek and Trefil for the Czech Republic, the local crew. Yashenko and Pogreban. They're in lane four. Lane five, Smith and Stewart for Australia. Lane six, Medvedev and Ryakov for Russia. Hungary, Kamara and Verakai. And then closest to you, Le Cruz and Colin for France and closest to you Rai and Steyer for Denmark so real open affair here strong start there by the Portuguese Yao Ribeiro and Emmanuel Silva Silva on the right uh, from uh, Braga in the stern of that boat and uh, they have really blasted off Silva who was a terrific junior three junior world goals and under 23 honors in his time before graduating into the seniors and you can see there that's a really interesting advantage and remember pimenta earlier on in the regatta same sort of start there catch me if you can tactics through the first quarter and away they go now the uh, portuguese and the others beginning to be aware of the fact that they might just need to keep tabs on them lane four you can see the russians yuchenko and pogreban nice rhythm they are fourth from the top of your picture and then after them, the Australians just a little bit off the pace there. Russians and watch for the Hungarians. Hungarians who usually take a bit of time to find their rhythm and then come storming through. But at European and world level, you've always got to remember the German crew that will no doubt come into the mix. Lane seven, 
Now you can just see in the foreground the two Hungarians, these multi-Olympic gold medalists. Both uh, a metre 88 high and they just go through in about third place there. So the Hungarians beginning to make their presence felt but still in lane four, Yoshenko and Pograban. Very, very strong, but very smooth, nice, really nice coverage of the blades, nice high tempo. And this is one of the most promising uh, performances we've seen from a, a Russian partnership for a while here. And by contrast, being taken on by the uh, Russians, uh, by the uh, Hungarians on the near side, who are just a little bit more than... Uh, Half a kayak's length down, and then uh, lane two, the Portuguese, Ribeiro and Silva, well and truly reeled in here. Trying to uh, improve Medvedev and Ryakov from Russia, the other partnership who are in uh, lane number six. Lane number four in picture here, Yashenko and Pogreban through 250 metres into the last quarter, and you can see the advantage they've got, and they've left the rest at the moment to scrap for silver and bronze. And this is real power paddling, and it's right across the regatta course, right on the far side, top two crew, Slovenia and Portugal, still in there with a the shout, but also uh, Kamara and uh, Verakai for uh, Hungary, and they are being taken on now by Smith and Stewart for Australia, for the uh, second place. Australians coming through very strongly. It's going to be the Russians who are going to take this. Who's going to take the silver? Who's going to take the bronze? It's going to be uh, Australia in there. Portugal have come back as well, right across the Brigada course. I'd say, oh, very close between Portugal and Australia, possibly Slovenia, Laban and Cook also in that photograph. No doubt about the winners, though, Yashenko and Pogreban. And that is a very stylish performance by those two. Really good paddling, very impressive crew. And no less a man than Martin Doctor, who is the 96 Olympic champion for the Czech Republic who now looks after the Czech team he uh, earlier this morning was saying how strong he thought the Russians would be and uh, proved to be absolutely right sadly his Czech crew relatively young improving but no match for the Russians on this occasion good finish uh, by the Australians David Smith and Murray Stewart as well those two coming through very strongly Hungarians in lane seven, all the experience in the world, but there it is, you can see, Russia, whoa, that's very close, and I guess you've got to, you'd also put Kim Rai and Emil Steyer in there for Denmark on the near side, let's see if they slow this down, I really need to be really slow here to see this. Now, Australian yellow gold vest there, now, uh, 